for the IQ question, I want to take a look at where these scores are on the normal curve. If I draw my normal curve, now there are two different tests, so there'd be two curves, but I'll just say they're one on top of the other. We have X bar in the middle. X bar was 100 on both tests. Now these numbers between the two tests would be different. It's not a bad idea now to do a normal curve for test A and repeat it for test B. Let's do that. Test A, the mean was 100. Standard deviation's 14. So one standard deviation above, that's 114. Two standard deviations above is 128. Three standard deviations above, it's 128 plus 14. It's 142. On the other way, going the other way, we'll subtract. So 100 minus 14 is 86. Minus 14 again is 72. Minus 14 again is 58. Test B, I'm gonna to try to line it up with the one I just drew. At least line up the means that curve is a bit lopsided, but X bar, one standard deviation, two and three. And gone the other way, one, two, and three. On test B, the mean is 100. The standard deviation was 13, so 113, 126. 139, if I subtract 13, 87, 74, 61. Test A's standard uh, Z score was 2.5. So 0, 1, 2. Person on test A was right in the middle of 128 and 142. 2.5 z-score. The person on test B was at 1.69. I'm going to estimate it about there. I'll write 1.7. So who scored the highest? Well, we've already answered that, but here's a picture of what we're actually looking at. Test B and if I dot this one down, test A, the person on test A scored the highest.